Hi, I want to talk about how to apply gradient boosting in your Python code. So, what's gradient boosting? Uh, it's a technique to improve the accuracy of decision trees. It can be applied for both classification and regression problems. And today, I run it for regression. A regression tree must be applied to a dataset having numerical target value. Here, goal 4txt is a valid dataset for a regression tree. We can use it. Uh, let's import ChefBoost and also Pandas. Uh, then import the Pandas data frame uh, with read CSV command and specify the location uh, of the file goal for dot txt then let's see the data set with a uh, data frame dot head command store the number of instances because we will need this in later steps number of instances is equal to data frame dot shape and zero index zero index stores number of rows uh, whereas uh, one index uh, stores number of columns now it's time to specify the configuration uh, we are going to use the regression algorithm here Now let's build the decision tree. Uh, Chef boost frameworks acronym Chef dot fit here transfer uh, data frame and configuration. But uh, you should transfer data frame Just copy instead of uh, data frame because uh, numerical values will be changed inside of this function. Here mean absolute error is 3.44 and uh, decision tree is stored under uh, outputs and rules rules.py We can predict uh, custom predictions as well uh, We need to import implementation then uh, specify the module name is actually equals to outputs slash rules slash rules exact location of this file uh, file pet pet name Description is equal to implementation dot uh, find module and transfer the module name and finally my rules is equal to implementation dot uh, log module uh, module name file path path name and description respectively. Uh, we can call my rules dot uh, find decision and transfer data set for example let's transfer the first line but uh, one and fourth features should be a uh, string and its prediction is 25 exactly the same let's print predictions for all instances for index and instance in data frame dot iterate rows actual value uh, was instances decision column whereas prediction is equal to minus dot Find prediction and we need to pass the input features that values 
let's print them and also print the prediction and also we can calculate the errors for in each instance absolute value of actual minus prediction let's find the sum of uh, all errors mean absolute error is equal to mean absolute error plus error and after the for loop I'm going to divide it by the number of instances yes mean absolute error is equal to uh, 3.44 actually it's already calculated here Uh, the question is can I uh, decrease the uh, mean absolute error or loss or in other words can I improve the accuracy for these predictions uh, the answer is that uh, GBM uh, can do this uh, we are going to uh, use a different configuration for gradient boosting machines I need to specify enable GBM as true. Uh, let's say number of epochs is uh, 7 and learning rate is 1. I don't uh, have to specify the algorithm anymore. And now I'm going to build a decision tree again shift up fit and transfer data frame and the nib configuration estin uh, loss value uh, boosted from 19 to 5 in 7 epochs let's print uh, custom predictions again i'm going to use same for loop here but uh, initialize prediction as 0 here I'm going to create another for loop for j in range from 0 to number of uh, epochs here uh, I'm going to copy this block in this for loop and find find decision for each epoch by the way uh, as seen rules uh, from 0 to rules uh, 7 is created that's why I need to specify the epoch value just like that again I'm going to uh, transfer instance that values that values uh, transforms uh, this line to numpy array actually and predictions equal to prediction dot uh, prediction plus new decision and after this for block I can dump uh, the final predictions let's find the error again absolute value of actual minus actual minus prediction and mean absolute error let's initialize it here I'm going to error value into mean absolute error and after the for loop 
I'm going to calculate its division mean absolute error over number of instances this is the boosted uh, mean absolute error 16 uh, now its new value is uh, 1.80 Remember the uh, its value before the boosting. Mean absolute error is boosted from three point four four to one point eighty. Uh, so uh, we have mentioned how to apply uh, gradient boosting in chef boost in this video uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time